Hi there, welcome to another in our series of videos on behavioural economics. And in this short session, we're going to be focusing on priming. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of very quick questions. And please shout out the answer aloud, even if you're on your own. Ready? Here we go. What colour is snow? What colour is that coat? What colour is that cloud? What colour is that t-shirt? What do cows drink? Now, the majority of people would uh, would say water or grass. But actually, if you ask these four questions, a lot of people end up shouting uh, milk. And of course, it's highly unlikely that cows drink milk. I mean, they, they might do. Uh, but uh, what I've done there is primed you. I've primed you to give a particular answer. If you ever tried that in a small group, it works really well. Uh, priming is based on the idea that our, our behaviour, our choices, uh, are influenced quite a lot by, by cues that oftentimes work subconsciously. They prime us to behave or make a choice in a certain way. Lots of businesses understand priming. If you've been into the shopping mall, the type of music that's being played is a subliminal influence. If you go into uh, the supermarket, you can smell the freshly baked bread. That's a form of priming. Oftentimes there are cues in films and TV adverts to attract your attention. Uh, students, when they go to university and they're handing in assessments, they might be asked to sign an honour code uh, to prove that their work is uh, free from plagiarism. And if you sign an honour co code before you hand the work in, then you're less likely to cheat in, a, in an assignment or an exam. A lot of other interesting, really interesting examples, if you show pictures of older people and then get them to do a physical task, they may actually perform that task less quickly. So priming is almost a psychological subconscious attempt to prime our cues, to give ourselves cues of behaviour so we make a different choice. And priming is used by a lot of businesses uh, as a as behavioural nudge.